usually a very unfortunate incident when any life is lost. It is an unfortunate incident when any life is lost. It doesn't matter the circumstances surrounding the loss of the life. Therefore, my explanation here should not be seen as an excuse, a justification, or a validation of the unfortunate incident. It should be seen as purely an explanation, a clarification, and a sincere attempt at providing the facts as I was given. The facts at my disposal is to the fact that this incident happened yesterday at about 9 a.m. The officer or the deceased who was later identified to be a member of the Civil Defense Corps was said to be driving along with some members of his family, precisely the wife, and then he was said to have violated traffic regulations. It was subsequently contravened by two traffic warden personnel. And I want you to note the fact that this contravention took place, was carried out by traffic warden personnel. That description should be underlined. They are not conventional police officers. Traffic warden are not conventional, traffic warden personnel are not conventional police officers. And that's why they identify with their yellow top. They don't bear arms either. On contravention, I was told that he drove himself personally to Nyanya police station. He walked down of the car, out of the car, and the two came to the charge room and began to ask him questions, simple preliminary questions. It was in that process that he suddenly slumped. They rushed him to hospital where he was eventually confirmed dead. I was also told that he was never in the full uniform of the civil defense as has been variously reported. However, he was wearing the pants, or rather the, the trousers of the civil defense, but he wasn't wearing the top. And if you understand that implication, it means if you are seated in the car and you're driving and you are not wearing the top, it is almost impossible for anybody to identify you as a uniform personnel. I've interacted with the Commissioner of Police in charge of FCT, and he has equally told me that he has physically examined the body, and there were no signs of physical violence on the body. Nonetheless, the two traffic warden, wardens have been arrested and they are currently in detention. The case, the command has opened comprehensive investigation into the incident. The body is currently deposited at the, the morgue of Maitama General Hospital. An autopsy will be conducted. And if you understand what an autopsy is, an autopsy is a comprehensive forensic examination of a dead body. And that will tell us undoubtedly the cause or causes of his death. We will keep our channel of communication open. We will remain accountable. We will keep the processes of investigation transparent. We urge you to report these facts as truthfully as you can. And when the autopsy will be conducted, we will also carry along two key 
stakeholders, the family of the deceased, as well as the representatives of his organization. They are at liberty to delegate a medical doctor to be within, to be in the room where the autopsy will be conducted. Thank you very much.